In this video, I'm going to show you how to repair your uh, 42 inch LG LCD TV. This is the uh, 42 LG 3.0. Uh, so, the problem with this TV is that it turns off randomly. Uh, sometimes you turn it on and it'll stay on for a few minutes, sometimes maybe an hour or two, and then it'll just uh, turn off. Uh, if you want to turn it back on, it won't turn on sometimes. Uh, sometimes you just have to unplug it and wait for a few hours before you can turn it back on. Other times it just won't come back on. So uh, the problem with this TV is uh, are the capacitors and the power supply. So the first thing we have to do is just locate the power supply on the uh, on the TV on the back of the TV so this is the back of the TV and this is our power supply so we have to do is unplug all the uh, wire harness attached to the uh, power supply and then unscrew the power supply uh, we're gonna go ahead and unscrew that and then I'll uh, mark uh, the capacitors that need to be replaced uh, so let's go ahead and do that Okay, so I've taken the uh, power supply out and uh, I'm going to show you which capacitors you have to replace and I'm also going to post the uh, list of the uh, capacitors on the description of this video. So the most important capacitors to replace are uh, these three over here as well as these three over here. So some of these are 2200 microfarads by 35 volts. Uh, this one over here and uh, there's one back here are 1000 microfarads to 25 volts. And like I said, I'm going to post the list on the description of this website. So real quick, I'm just going to show you which capacitors you have to replace. And those are the, the ones that I marked with, uh, with the black Sharpie on the top, So such as this one. There's a, a couple more right here, and there's one over here. Once again, the, the ones that you most replace are the ones located in this area. And the ones on this area, uh, you, you could replace them or you can hold on until you put the uh, power supply back into the TV, give it a try. Because usually the, the, these ones over here, they don't fail as much. Uh, that's if you don't have a multimeter and you don't have any way to take them out and test them. If you do have a multimeter and you'd like to take them out and test the uh, capacitor, just, you can just go ahead and do that to see if you have to replace them or not. Otherwise, uh, if you want to just hold on, replace the ones uh, located in this area, you can do so. Also, the... Uh, there's a repair kit uh, on eBay which includes about 17 capacitors and the, the ones in this area are included. So you can just go ahead and do that if you don't want to go to your local uh, electronic supply store. Uh, once again, I'm going to post the, uh, the list of the capacitors that you have to replace in the description of this video. And so let's go ahead and replace those capacitors for now. Okay, so I have already replaced the um, capacitors on my power supply and put the power supply back onto the TV. Uh, it's been working for about three hours now. And uh, so just replace the capacitors on your power supply. I'm going to post the uh, list of capacitors uh, that I replaced on, my, uh, on the description of my uh, YouTube video. Uh, once again, the TV is uh, back and working. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, uh, if you have any comments just uh, post them in the comment section, uh, thanks for watching, bye bye.